is it recording hey y'all welcome to my channel so today today we will be doing a diy so it's gonna be a super cute trendy diy we're gonna be doing some stock sweatpants um i'll show you some pictures so somewhere in this frame there's gonna be a picture so you guys know an idea of like what we're gonna be doing today my name is kathy thank you so much for tuning in let's get straight into the video starting off with wally world yes walmart we are looking for two sweatpants of the same color i went with the color gray and picked out two size smalls they did run big so i did size down each one cost seven dollars and 98 cents make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell so that you can get notified every single time I post a video so here you can see that I am trying on the sweatpants so they did have a nice fit booty was looking nice now I did lay out these pants so that I'm able to give it a cut so we're gonna cut it right above the knee it's better that you have more material than less just in case you do mess up and the best way to cut this is if you fold the pants and then cut so that way you're cutting both sides at the same time and once they are cut you're going to turn everything inside out you're then going to cut the seam of each leg so once you're done with that it should look like this So here I am folding the pants. I'm really trying to figure it out because I've never done this before. To be completely honest with you guys, I am a beginner when it comes to this. So I am going to be using a sewing machine, but you can use a needle and thread and do it by hand. You can use fabric glue. She. You could even use hot glue gun if you really just need like a temporary quick on go sweat stacked pants for the one time. And once I do figure it out, it was a little challenging, but once I figured out exactly how I needed to fold the pants, I give you a better look at it. Okay, so you do want to fold the extension part. And once you fold that, you're just going to insert it into the other pant hole. You want to make sure that you line up the seams together so that this way when you sew it up, it's not mismatch, Girl, that's not a good look. So you do want to line up those seams. And once that is nice and neat, you're going to go ahead and use pins. You're going to want to connect the two so that when you are using a sewing machine, it makes the process a lot easier. And this is what it should look like once you're done pinning both fabrics down together. Okay, and finally, we are moving on to the sewing machine. So I do want to remind y'all that I am a beginner, okay? Um, my one tip for a beginner 
would be to start off with YouTube, which is what I did. A majority of my skills did come from YouTube, which is why I am starting this channel because YouTube has done so much for me as far as like taught me a lot of different skills. I'm talking about acrylic nails, press on nails, sewing, crocheting. Like I've just learned so much from YouTube and I think it's only right to give back. So I am so excited to start this YouTube journey. So I hope y'all are enjoying my video so far. And as you sew, you are taking those pins out. Also make sure to cut all that extra thread so that there's nothing dangling and hangling out when you're wearing them. So once you are done sewing, you are able to cut off all that extra fabric and that's just to get rid of any bulkiness. Mine wasn't too bad so I honestly left it like it was. And we're just going to repeat that same process for the other leg. So as I did continue to do this and play around with the fabric, I noticed that there was like an easier way. You're literally putting your hand through the pants and grabbing onto that extension and pulling it through only up until that crease. So once you reach that crease, don't pull it anymore. Um, I did mess up and pull it all the way through and had to do it all over again. So don't be like me. Just go ahead and pull through up until that crease. As you guys watch me do the process, feel free to comment down below any video ideas that you hope to see from me. I have entirely too many hobbies, so I do hope to show you guys all of those hobbies on this channel. Finally that we are done you're gonna go ahead and flip your work back I think I did a pretty great job gonna take that tag out cuz who needs that <laughs> And now that you have sweatpants that literally look like it would fit someone who is 7'2", <laughs> you're going to go ahead and try them on. And I absolutely loved how these turned out. Of course, I had to style it. So I was actually going to do a little photo shoot right after this. So it was perfect timing. I did put on my Jordan 4s. And they look stunning I love it so much I period it with a black crop top and a utility purse is that what it's called yeah a utility purse and then boom we're ready to go and of course my little puppy had to make an appearance well he's not so little anymore but this is Sace and he clearly did not want to leave the frame but you guys can see how nice these turned out so if you guys do choose to recreate these please feel free to tag me i would love to see how it came out in the description box i will have my instagram tag i will also have all the materials that you do need for this diy and thank you so much again for watching